Hey guys, Phantom Z1982 here with another video, and um, today's a What If episode of uh, What If Seven Superior was in Ultra Galaxy Fight, the Destined Crossroad, instead of Ultraman Regulus. So yeah, hopefully with this little story, if Ultra Seven was in, I mean, not Ultra Seven, uh, Seven Superior was in Ultra Galaxy Fight, this could like you know help Seven Superior to come back to the Ultraman universe, the, to the franchise after being missing for so many years. And after many countless theories that he was not real, he was just an illusion, an imagination or something, or that he died after giving all of his energy to Ultra 7 to come back home, you know? Hopefully with this, um, with this, uh, what if episode and then like this little story that I'm gonna tell you guys, hopefully it will make sense for Samus Superior to come back and then make everyone like him again instead of Regulus. So anyways guys, um, oh if you're wondering how um, how is 7 Superior going to be there since he'll look exactly like Ultra 7 and, and there could be the confusion of who is who, well don't worry, here's my design of 7 Superior. He has blue eyes and his eye sludger has like a buzzsaw like you know, design to it on his eye sludger. And his entire neck is silver because I could have sworn there were some times where Ultra 7's like you know, neck has a, a bits of red in it. Some of his suits have bits of red in it, you know? But yeah, that's my uh, design for 7 Superior, in case you do not know. Also, the the head... The the the, the, the Amerium thing on his head is red. 7 Superior's um, uh, forehead is red instead of green like Ultra 7. So yeah, anyways, uh, let's get on with this what if. Seven Superior would explain to the Yulian how he was on his way to Earth after warning Ultra Seven if he transforms again, he would die. But, as he was on his way to Earth, uh, Absolute Torturous appears right in front of him. Seven Superior was confused and stunned for a bit, but then Absolute Torturous would say that um, he has to come with him, because otherwise he'll have to use force and basically attack him if he doesn't, if he doesn't join him. Absolute Torturous wanted to use Seven Superior as a hostage for Ultra Seven and his son Ultraman Zero after being, after seeing how he was what he was capable of. Seven Superior would say um, would explain to Yulian how they both fought for a bit, but then Absolute Torturous was too powerful for him, and he was captured. And Torturous stole his Ice Sludger, and then his foot soldiers took him to the kingdom. Then Seven Superior would. Exp would explain to Yulian how after all these years people n never remembered him. No one remembered him. Not even Ultra 7 because he thought he was having an um, hallucination or imagination. But then Yulian decides to like you know help Ultra 7 Superior or 7 Superior by healing him. Sometime later Astra would appear to help um, Yulian but then he would not see 7 Superior for a bit because Absolute Diablo appears out of nowhere and attacks um, Astra. And after Yulian heals Seven Superior, Seven Superior uh, gets breaks free and then attacks Absolute Diablo. Seven Superior would yell at um, Astra and Yulian to get out and he'll buy them some time. By this time, uh, the secondary Ultras was able to, um, you know, open a portal to get back home after Astra does this, like, you know, thing. And as Yulian um, helps Astra, Seven Superior and Absolute Diablo would appear out of nowhere once again. And then Astra tells Seven Superior to come back. Because, you know, they have to leave now. And after the secondary Ultras leave the kingdom, and Absolute Tartarus and his fortress uh, pursue them, um, Hikari um, alerts Astra on the, their whereabouts or where they're going, uh, their coordinates to their next location. And as they arrive, all the secondary Ultras retrieve Yulian, and as well as the Ultra Brothers, and yeah. At this time, uh, Seven Superior and Ultra Seven didn't see each other yet, because they were in a hurry to get Yulian back to M78. After the Ultras return Yulian back to M78, Seven Superior decides to leave and fly back to the planet Frost where the battle was taking place between the Ultras and the Absolutians. Absolute Titan was about to use ice his Ice Ledger against Reboot after hearing enough of his lies. As he was about to stab Reboot, it was stuck for a bit, and then it flew out of Absolute Titan's hand. As it was flying, it decides to kill a bunch of uh, Absolutian soldiers around. 
So that way I can like save some of the Ultras that were having trouble dealing with the Absolutian foot soldiers. And Ultra 7 was being was being uh, br brutally damaged by the Absolutian foot soldiers. But then the Ice Soldier kills the one that's about to hit him as well as the one that was holding him. As Ultra 7 was falling to the ground after dealing enough damage, he lays down and then he turns his head seeing a familiar face right next to him. Seven Superior um, reaches to Ultra Seven to pick him up and as Ultra Seven looks at his hand he looks at him seeing his eyes and his face for the first time after many years. Ultra Seven grabs his hand and then gets back up. It's been many years old friend. That's what Seven Superior would say to Ultra Seven. Ultra 7 will be confused of where he has been after all these years. He thought he was he was dreaming. 7 Superior decides to not explain it now, as if the battle is taking place right now, so he'll explain to him later on. Ultra 7 agrees. And then Shining Ultimate Zero joins 7 Superior and Ultra 7. Now, um this scene originally in Ultra Galaxy Fight, we're gonna have to like make sure it doesn't exist in general. Because it was basically a, a setup for the sequel or prequel of Regulus. Instead, it will be Ultra 7, 7 Superior, and Shining Zero, Zero unleashing their powerful beam attack to kill Absolute Diablo. And then 7 Superior would say, that's for keeping me locked up for many years. Or something like that. But then the rest of the the Destined Crossword would play the exact same way. Zero, the, the, just not defeating, but like damaging Absolute Torturous a lot. Absolute Torturous goes up to space and then King saves the day, yep. But instead of this scene where Zero is with Regulus, it will be Ultra 7 Superior, or 7 Superior, with Ultra 7 and Ultraman Zero. Then Ultra 7 will ask 7 Superior a question, uh, didn't he look like him the last time they saw each other? Because his eyes is blue, but what he remembers, his eyes was yellow, and it looked exactly like him. 7 Superior would explain that he was a fool because that was his illusion, or that was, that was his uh, imagination, or illusion, or illusion, or some, something like that. But then Zero asks where he has been after all these years. Seven Superior would ask, would explain that he's been locked up for many years, captured by the kingdom, and then people thought that he was just like you know an illusion of Ultra Seven or imaginary something that he doesn't exist. It really angers him because he has been locked up for many years and people forgot about him. So there you have it. That's my uh, what if story on what if Seven Superior was in. Or the galaxy fight the Destin Crossroad. Now, um, it, if it, if this really actually happened, I would have liked Ultra Galaxy Fight the Destin Crossroad a lot more because they brought back a forgotten character of the entire franchise to basically become the main hero again and become popular once again after being missing for so many years. Kind of like the the obscure Ultras, you know, like Powered, Great, USA, and such. But um, I feel like this story could actually work because um, Ultra Galaxy Fight, they tend to be like, you know, very like huge big tributes to the, the Ultra characters, like doing a lot of callbacks and such. But uh, if Seven Superior was actually in Ultra Galaxy Fight instead of Regulus, I feel like Seven Superior would be, you know, liked a lot compared to Regulus being just, just an OC of the director, you know. <laughs> Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I do like Regulus, but uh, he's kind of a meh. But I, I would really prefer Seven Superior because Seven Superior, like I said, he's been missing for so many years. Bringing him back, showing us what happened to him, would have made a lot of sense. And then, therefore, showing how superior, no pun intended, how superior Seven Superior is compared to Ultra Seven would have been like, you know. A great job of showing how good you know Seven Superior is compared to Ultra Seven. Now, the biggest question is, what would Seven Superior's role be in future Ultraman, like you know, media, and like series and such? Well, 
you could just treat him like Ultraman X Xenon, where he was appeared, where he appeared in Ultraman Max, and then a few movies as cameos, but then never do much with him. But at least sell like you know toys and merchandise of Seven Superior, you know. But. If he really was, like, you know, really important, he would appear in some Ultra series, trying to, like, you know, help the other Ultra in some way. Kind of like Ikari appearing in Ultraman G to, like, you know, give Zero the the capsules and such. But for Seven Superior, he would just be like Ultraman Xenon, where he'll be in the background most of the times, but only serve a purpose to, like, you know, help his, like, partner, Ultra 7. But yeah, what do you guys think? Um, should Seven Superior be in the official series? What do you think of my what-if story? Um, are there any criticisms you might want to, you know, tell about my story? Um, let me know in the comments because I would like to know. And uh, let me know in the comments if uh, if this like what-if story made more sense in Ultra Galaxy Fight. Because, you know, Regulus being like there and all of a sudden become like, you know, an important Ultra out of nowhere. I mean, yeah, they did set it up with him being killed by Yulian and such, but um... I feel like Regulus just was just there for to appease like a uh, Ultraman Leo fans and such. Eh. Anyways, guys. Um. Yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Um. Be sure to share it around because it took a lot of time for me to make this video, and I'm sorry that I've been delaying it so much, so many times. I had to draw each scene and color it and such because it takes a long time, you know. Anyways, guys. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.